Here it is, the Blue Eddy PV200. So you can see it's got a really nice, like hard plastic handle on it with their logo. Um, it's got this nice, like gray, like kind of honeycomb type fabric on it. Very nice, feels high quality. There's their Blue Eddy logo also. And then let's flip this thing around. And so here's the back. So these are the little straps. You just push that in, obviously, and you pull that out to unfold it. Got them on both sides to keep it together. Here's their little uh, zipper pouch. It does have a like waterproof seal, or at least water resistant. Uh, I wouldn't like dump this thing in the water, but it should uh, keep rain out of there. And then you got your cord, your MC4 cord to plug into your power station or the cord to your power station to charge it up. So uh, I think it's a 12 gauge cable and I think it's 10 feet long, so good length. And then uh, here it does say all the technical details, which I like that back up quick. And then the other thing on this back side is the little leg for it. It does have a little Velcro strap. So this does Velcro down uh, and then you can just unpin this. And you got your 45 degree angle and then it's plus or minus five degrees. So, you know, you could do 45 or you could do like 40 or uh, 50 degrees, depending on what angle the sun's at. Here we go. We got the PV200 out in the sun. I don't know if it's directly at the sun, but uh, it's pretty close. So this thing only comes with three legs. It does not have four, but these legs are actually pretty wide and thick here. So uh, I have it set at the 45 degree angle. But he did connect these panels in uh, parallel. So what's nice about these things is a lot of them, like say if you get a little shade from one tree on this panel, normally all of them would basically get no power. 160 some watts so in my opinion that's pretty efficient so like i said these things are actually wired in parallel so um, what i want to do is i'm going to put this towel over one and uh, let's see what the watts drop down to well if you guys can see it's getting 121 watts now which like i said some solar panels with one covered, you'd get like one or two watts or zero watts, like it wouldn't even register. So I'm gonna cover two and we'll see, we should be at about half because before we're getting 160, so I'd say we're about 80 watts if I cover two. Yep, 81 watts guys. So that's what's nice about having these in uh, parallel because now, you know, if you have a little bit of shade, you don't have to worry about getting zero power to your power station. Say you weren't around or something to like look outside and say, oh, I got to adjust it. So I do like that. So let's go back to taking it off here and uh, see if we shoot back up to around 160 watts. Oh yeah, 167, hope you guys can see. In my opinion, that's pretty efficient. Um, like I said, it's got those monocrystalline cells. So I guess that's like, basically the top of the line as far as like efficiency that 23.4 percent efficiency so i don't know i'm very uh, pleased with these and like i said if you had a couple of these you know two or three of them then you could really get some serious power to some of these power stations